Hi everybody, Lee here. Today we're going to write um, some basic drum beats in music. What we're going to have at the end is going to look something like this document here. We're just going to write the first section here, the first uh, exercise, um, but I will show you how to add additional sections in right at the end. If you're not in full screen, now would be a good time to go to full screen, so there might be some details you miss if you're looking at this uh, in a small window. Today I'm going to be using Music Pro. You don't need to use Music Pro for this, but Music Pro obviously is a lot nicer, a lot faster, has some uh, nice features. You can get Music Pro or the free version of Music at music.net. Okay, so we start by clicking Start a New Project, and we're just going to have one stave here, and we're going to call this Drums. Now you notice if you're using Music Pro that the clef here has automatically picked a neutral clef because we wrote drums. You can choose anything you like. Um, we're going to have two voices. The first voice is going to be our hands and the second voice is going to be our feet. And then we click OK. Now just zoom in for you. Now you see we've got two staves set up here. The uh, first stave we're going to write our hands on, and the second stave we're going to write our feet on. So I'm just double clicking where this says voice, and then I just write feet, and then click away. If you need to add a drum stave into a project that already exists, there is a plus button down here that adds a stave, or you can go project, add stave. Now by default, this is a piano stave, so to change the instrument to a drum stave, you click on this icon here, this little gear that says settings, and click to drum default. Now if you want to write for other instruments as well, um, perhaps this isn't the right tutorial for you, but yes, you can click on MIDI instrument here, and you can select from entire range, from a piano to a glockenspiel to a violin. Clicking to drum default changes more than the instrument that's playing. It changes the direction that uh, marks and things go because drum music doesn't necessarily look the same as a lot of other classical music. Anyway, to drum default is the one you want and you click OK. Uh, obviously the clef hasn't changed because um, it's not just going to wipe out the clef that you chose originally. So if you want to change that you can go add clef, choose the clef you like and this little red cursor will follow you your mouse around. Put it where you want it, which is going to be at the start, and just click, and it's going to change the clef. Now that's how you do it if you're on an existing uh, project. We're just going to stick with the easy way, which is set it up properly at the start. Now, we do have two staves here. They do combine at the end to be one stave. It's just much easier to write your hands on one line and then your feet on another line and let music take care of the hard work. So, just to remind you what our uh, our goal is at the end, we're going to write these four bars here. So, As you can see, the uh, hi-hats quite commonly are grouped in fours, four eighth notes, and the bass drum is not necessarily grouped in the same way. So, we'll start by adding our first note in. Hopefully you've seen a video of music before, but if you haven't, these grey notes are called guides or guide notes and you, when you click on them it creates a note. So we're going to create our first note and then I'm just going to press the up key and I'm going to put it up two and now this is where our crash symbol is going to be and because we want four notes in a row and these are only grouped in twos at the moment as you can see by the guide notes I'm going to press control two which is a half note. Now a half note contains four eighth notes so it says, now it looks like it's going to be a group of four. I'm going to add the other four notes in. Except I've put them slightly on the wrong line there. Click on the first one, hold shift, click on the last one. Now I'm going to press shift X. And we've got symbols here. Now if I play that back to you, beg your pardon, play it back from the start. 
we've got the right sounds. Now I'm going to do the same for these next four. So first one, press control 2, add the next in, hold shift, select all of them, shift X. Now you can also do this with drop downs over here. There are other symbols as well. Uh, your tuplets are here, so you could just select half note, but keyboard's much faster. Now we're going to want three bars of hi-hat here. We've already got four selected, so I just press control C to copy them, or I can press the copy button here. Now I press control V to start pasting. Put the mouse where you want to paste. Control V, control V. Right, so our hi-hat's all written, sorted. I'm going to put snare on two and four. So our snare drum's quite easy, it's just this line here. We're just going to click on two, click on four, click on two, click on four, click on two, beg your pardon, click on two, click on four. So other than the fill, we have our hands already written. If I play that back to you, just press spacebar. If you're using Music Pro, you will hear that uh, woodblock sound, which is the hi-hat. Uh, I beg your pardon, it's the metronome. If you want to turn that off, you can click Show Metronome here. Go to the volume and just drag the volume all the way down to the bottom. Great. Okay, now we're going to uh, write our bass drum. So, the first thing first is bass drum stems go downwards, not upwards. So, I clicked on that little uh, gear icon and I click where it says default stem direction and I choose down. Now our notes are going to have a downward stem direction so I'm going to put these here, here, wherever we really want. Um, for this next bar I'm going to put some sixteenth notes in. Now as you see the guide notes are only showing two eighth notes so we put the mouse where we want the sixteenth notes to go and we press the equals or the plus key depends on your keyboard, but they're often the same key. Now if I quickly move my mouse you'll see we've got sixteenths available so I can add some sixteenths. And I think I'll do the same here, so I hover it over and I press the equals or the plus key and then I'll just put them in like that. So we've got our bass drum written, easy enough. And now a very quick fill, so one one. Now I want some sixteenths again, so I press the plus or the equals key. Just scroll across for you. Some more sixteenths. Some more sixteenths. Uh, let's put these on the floor. So, we've actually finished writing our music now, very quickly. I just press spacebar to play, or I can press play button here. But we could always add a little bit of finesse, so let's put a, um, a couple flams in here. So to put a flam you click on the note that you want to add the flam to, or the grace note, and there's an add grace note button here. You can just press that, and now we've got a flam. You can actually put up to eight, eight of these in for any given note, so you could have a uh, a drag, for example, but we're just going to put a flam in there. And let's just put a uh, repeat sign, so you know to play the exercise over and over again. So we click on Marks, and then we uh, choose Change Bar Line, and we're going to pick this repeat back. You notice the blue line is pointing to the places we can add it. We're just going to go right to the end and we're going to click, and then now we're done, we're just going to press escape. So a final uh, sound is going to be like this. Now I just stopped that because I'm sure you didn't need to hear it again. If you want to stop music while it's playing, again you can just press spacebar or press the play button. Now a final thing to note is I don't really like having 
uh, rests for my bass drum, it's considered more correct to have them, but I consider the music to be much harder to read, so I'm going to get rid of these quarter note rests. First I'm just going to hide these guide notes, so you can just click here and the guide notes will stop following the cursor. Now, obviously we can't just delete these from the stave completely because that would break the rule of music, but what we can do is we can select them by click on one, hold control, and just continue to click along them. And then we click on this eye icon up here, which is visible and published score. And now click somewhere else just to deselect. And you notice that they've all turned blue. Anything that is blue on a score will not appear in your PDF at the end. So while we can see where these notes are, or rests rather, should fall, and if we want to add notes in, we can see roughly where we can put them. When we publish our work, uh, for printing, it, they don't get in the way, we don't see them, and um, you can do this with just about anything on a stave. Uh, just also going to move these two rests down here, holding control and clicking, and then I'm just going to drag these down to the bottom line to align with our notes. Okay, we're ready to publish, so we click on this publish button here, it says publish project, or you can choose file publish project. Now, there are a lot of options here. Um, it's worth playing around with these. It's not going to hurt to play around with them. In Music Pro, there are considerably more options. In Music Lite, there's still some stuff to play around with. The first thing we're going to do is choose our template. Now, a template chooses how the page looks. So, I'm going to click on Get All Templates to have a look what's available. And for drums, a good one is the Strong Chunk 5 too. I'm going to choose Landscape, um, just to fit everything on the page, and click OK. And I'm going to leave most things as they are. I'm just going to add in some uh, text. So for title, I'm going to choose, I'm going to write rather, we'll write some basic drum beat. Composer, I'll put my name. Subtitle, I'll put an example drum beat in music. I'll leave everything else as it is, and I'm just going to hit publish here. And when I hit publish, this is creating um, a PDF that we can uh, send to our friends or do whatever we want with. You also have the option of opening it as an XPS document, which is often a lot faster to open in Windows than a PDF. Uh, you can also save it as image files, um, which is great for the internet because you can just um, drop it into a web page or you can put it into a Word document or whatever you like. I'm going to choose PDF and I'm just going to save it as drums. Now it says it's saved OK, and I can click Open File here, and it'll launch um, a viewer for the PDF. And we can see the titles here, Basic Drum Beat, our subtitle, an example drum beat and music, and my composer name, which is Lee. You can scroll down, and we can see that our music is ready to go. It says drums because we wrote drums um, as the name of the stave. Of course, if you delete that, that goes away. And uh, yeah, ready to go. So if you want to add additional exercises in here, as we did here, I'll quickly show you how to do that without actually writing all this music. So I'm just going to hit OK and close for publish. Now these, are, these additional exercises are called sections because they don't necessarily have to be an exercise. They can be a coder or a new piece of music or anything you like. Now, if you already have a section set up, like we have here, that's quite uh, good, suitable for what you want for the next section, you can say project, add section based on this section. And we're ready to go. We've got our drum stave all set up. It says hands and feet. We know what we want to do with it. Now, when we go to publish, 
and we scroll right to the bottom, you'll notice that section 2 is now listed here. You can choose which sections you want. You may just want to do section 1 and section 2 was an afterthought or a, um, something that you were playing around with. You can also reorder these by clicking the button. So click here and now section 2 is at the top. Um, it's really up to you. And you can just continue to add sections and add sections. You could have uh, 64 exercises in a project, for example. So that's the basics. There are other ways, of course, of writing drum music. You may want to put your feet and your hands all into one stave. You may want to put your snare drum and your bass drum um, on one stave, or one voice, rather and your um, hi-hat on the other. For example, if you wanted to put your snare drum with your bass drum here, instead of writing these snare drum notes here, you'd put them down here. It's really up to you what you want to do. It's very flexible. As you can see, it's relatively fast. So um, good luck. Remember, if you need any help, there's a help wiki, which is wiki.musinc.net. Uh, check it out. Cheers.